question sa marketing slide and the main now ma uh, ma i see like um uh, i am good in two years already in march i uh, have finished um many people has mixed up other jobs have been added or or not Today our special guest is Dr. Ron and he will be sharing his knowledge with us today. Welcome my brother. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm having me. Thanks for having me. I appreciate self. I've been seeing what you're doing and things so I really um I happy that I could be a part of this this um your program and this movement where you're on, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it is a pleasure to have you here with us. And not only that, you're, you're, you're from St. Martin, and we can get a little bit into the music and how we could help somebody else because that is the goal on this channel. So yeah. before we go into that, tell tell us something about yourself. Some things? Tell you something about myself? <laughs> <laughs> tell you a lot of things. Uh, give, us, give us something. Who is Dr. Ron? So my name is Jonaldo Tilman. My artist name is, is Dr. Rum. Um, I'm a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, all-around entertainer, um, and I happen to be a teacher. Um, I teach in a prison for about seven years, the youth prison. Um, I, I love music and everything to do with music. I don't think that there's anything else in this world that I feel that I can do. You know, um, I love Island. I was born, raised in St. Martin. I'm, uh, I'm 22 years young. I look 22, right? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 31 years old. Um, and I was born on the beautiful island of St. Martin. I said that already. And, and um, I'm a family man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a advocate for my country. I am. I'm a pioneer. I just I love my country and I love music. And I think that's a little some things about myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so music business. How long have you been doing music? As long as I could remember. The question is when I wasn't doing music. <laughs> I've been doing music my whole life. Um, wow. Like I told you, the one, um, I, my first lyrics that I could ever, let me say it like this, my first trophy I got in 1995. I was probably about four years old um, at the moment when I got the, the trophy. Um, yeah. I love music. There's something that was always a part of me. My mom and my aunts would always sing. My grandmother used to play the organ and my grandfather used to play the guitar. Um, I always been around music. Now, um, not music artists. I, I I haven't really been around the artist side, but I've I've always been around music. I always been listening to music. I love music. You know, there's just something mm -hmm. about. Me. So uh, my whole life, I've been I've been uh, around music, and how long I have been doing music. Um, I think maybe since high school, like the first year in high school, I remember telling my brother that I wanted to. I told him like, yo, let's start a music group. So that was probably like by the time I was 13. And from mm. since then, is I have never stopped. I never stopped. From the time I was 13, I never stopped. Before that, we would write little lyrics, you know, like for girls. It was my first lyrics that I wrote. was the, My first lyrics I wrote was to impress my cousin. And then my second lyrics that I wrote was to impress a girl. Hmm. And, and when, when did you say that you want to bring music into business? Because you could do music for fun. But, but when, when did you say you want to do music for business? as a business um the, the first time i got the idea i think was when i was like around somewhere between like 16 and 18 when i met o3 um i remember going away with them shout out to o3 lego um suave and master he's now uh g100 um i remember going away with them to perform hmm. and i had gotten paid i had gotten paid they put us in an apartment it was we had our own room and Food was paid for us, and I was like, "Yo, this is dope." But they were also, um, they were also uh, not a reflection. I want to say they were also an example as to getting paid for their performance. And I was around them, you know. They took me, they 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 brought me under their wings from a, at a very young age, and they just it was just family from then, you know. And I just saw through them and saw like how they would get paid for for their shows and their performances and how much time and effort they would put into their music. And just um, performing and entertaining, and I was like, "Yo, this this looked like it could really be possible." Mm -hmm. I remember I was standing on their roof upstairs from their house. I was standing when I made the decision to go away to Holland to do music um, for a living. Mm -hmm. uh, it was by the house, you know. So I would say somewhere between 16 and 18, 19, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, between 16 and 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And, and, and were you ever caught up saying like, like getting money, you ever felt like it was a job or, or it was always felt like this is something you grew up doing? A job. Music has never been a job for me because, because it, 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 it came from love. It came from being a hobby, you know, because when you say a job now, you, it, it, it puts a strong hole behind of it as in you have to do it, you know. A job has to get done. Mm. Music has always been something that I just love doing. I had loved doing it. I still love doing it. Um, so it became part of what paid the bills, but it wasn't a job. You know, uh, music opened so many different doors. A lot of people think that it's just the going on stage and performing part. You know, there's so much more to it. There's the creating part, but then there's also the, the learning and the teaching part. You know what I mean? Um, so music turned in to a... Um, to uh, a career it, it became my career mm -hmm. um it ended up paying the bills hmm. i very proud to say that i very yeah. proud to say that music pays the bills yeah and how long does it take you to make a track it depends it depends um i i like things that flow i like i like when it's flowing when everything's flowing a song could take me to be honest a song could take me months and a song could take me hours um a full song can't take me minutes. I mean, I can compose it and put it together. I can compose it and put it together in minutes, but to make the song talks about the writing process, the production part, and then the engineering part. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we talk about a song from zero to hero, that's what I call it, from, from, from nothing to a finished complete product that you can put on a radio. That's what I consider making a song and, that, and that's a process that can take me, it can take up to days and it can take up to months. Mm. Yeah, it can, it, can, it can range anywhere between there. Yeah. But to say, like, if I could just put on a song, I could put on a song in minutes. Um, depends on how I'm feeling. I could put on a song in hours. I could put on a song in days. Um, and, and sometimes you just don't feel it no more. You mm -hmm. just don't feel it. You put the song down, and then you listen to it after a couple months, maybe a couple years. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's the thing. My Christmas song that I have, that was in 2019. The Christmas song I just put Go and check it out on Spotify. Everything one time, you know, plug it in one time. <laughs> but I made that Christmas song in 2019. You know, we're in 2021. You understand? So songs can take it. It depends. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a perfectionist also. So I also believe in timing. Timing is everything. Um, timing is everything. So sometimes you feel like, hmm, seeing the song right now. And then after a couple of years, you come, you pick it up and you put it out and, and, it, and it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful, you know? So those, those are the different waves and things that you can go through the music process in itself, you know? Shout out to Zap one time. Um, he's sponsoring the studio for us to use the studio to do this podcast now. Shout out to that one. Yeah, you know? So yeah, the process of music, it can, it can, it can, it can go anywhere between those. Yeah, so you were saying, um, you say you hear a theme or a team. So team as in T-E-A-M or theme. Yeah, I hear like a group of, of people in order to get this mission done, this song done. So um, that's something that I'm really big on. Um, um, you do need a team. I feel like in everything you do need a team and, and going into your, your vibes where you're on with business and stuff like that. A company don't run by itself. Hmm. A company runs off of a board, hmm. you understand? And why should I think, why should I think anything different to my music? You know, um, a beat, a beat. When you make an instrumental, it's not only a, a hi hat, it's not only a kick. You know what I mean? It's the combination of a hi hat, a kick, a snare, the clap, maybe some crashes, a piano, a guitar, some synths, a lead. You understand what I'm saying? It takes a team to make everything in this life um, work. Look at the world. Look at the way how the world works. You know what I mean? The oxygen that we breathe out is the is the same CO2. I think it is. I wasn't good at, in chemistry. Eh? I just let you know. I mean, well, it's Whatever we breathe out is what the plants breathe in, you know, mm -hmm. and the whole ecosystem, how it works, it works together, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So why should we feel any different to our craft or whatever it is that we're creating? You know, you, you do need powerful people. Um, do you have the right people around you? That's, that's the question to ask. Mm -hmm. Do you have around me? Um, and find the right people for the job. That's, that's, that's very important. That's mm -hmm. very important. Not because that person is, is your friend, means that they are, are capable of, 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 of executing the job and getting mm -hmm. it done. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to go about the quality because music for me, when I listen to music, honestly, I, I like quality. I yeah. like just music that I would listen on a day to day or once in a while. I like quality music. 
you you I find you could hear a difference. Was how we could get quality was quality music. Explain me from from being back then making music to today. So quality, quality, I'll, I'll say this. Quality is based on preference. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I would listen to a rock song and say, like, yo, what kind of noise is that? But to somebody who loves rock, that's like, yo, this is it, dude. Yeah. This is <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, quality is based on preference. To be to be very honest, because back in the days, if you look at some of the biggest songs, if you listen to them now, I would hold my head and say, "Yo, that quality is trash." Like you know the way how they. True. But to them, that was booming. Um. So that's that's preference. But if you ask me about True. my quality of music, uh, it has grown. It has grown just like a tree. I am I am the tree. You know, <laughs> and my music is the roots. You checking what I'm saying? And the quality of my music has grown based on the knowledge that I've acquired along the way and the mm -hmm. people that I've worked with. You know, um, like I always say, Zav does bring out a different side of me when I work with him. Um, Micro brings out a different side of me when I'm with him, but that doesn't mean that that it's not quality. I determine my quality. I determine my sound. You know, and of course, your yeah, equipment's too. But um, I know some people who make in, shout out to Blacks, the CEO. Right now, he got a big song on the radio and he record that. I can't say it, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, if you know, ain't no big speed that I was in because technology is now rising, and I feel mm -hmm. technology also advances our and our knowledge and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, um, if you ask me about me, um, where we were, where we started, it was all off of just inspiration. It was just mm -hmm. a vibe, and we just grow with the time. We 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 really grow and we invest in ourselves. Um, we really and I find that's very important. That's something that you, we need to talk about. Also, investing in yourself. You know what I mean? If you don't invest in yourself, I don't believe that you can grow. I don't believe that you can take it to the next level. Okay. So, what are you working on right now? What was the goal when it comes to music? What was the focus? What are you focusing on right now? Boy, man, I focusing on an empire. I really oh, the raise the bar. I want to raise the bar. The same as the internet guy, guy holding that. Nah, you, you say you're trying to get empire. Yeah, so I, I trying to. Be, I, I, I don't feel like it's two of us because we we're building an empire, entrepreneurs right here. We trying to build an empire. That's why I tell you I support where you're on, you know, because I really trying to create an empire, and not just when it comes to just making music, but also putting on the next generation when it comes to music. Mm. You understand? I'm trying to get a group of producers. I'm trying to get a group of artists. I'm trying to get a group of business-minded people to create an empire for St. Martin in itself, but also the Caribbean, you know? But I say St. Martin because I want to start home, you know? Um, I'm busy working on creating such a crazy idea that if I tell it to you, you just don't really understand it until you see it, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, right now, if I tell you I work four jobs, you're going to watch me like you're crazy, but I don't feel like I work four jobs. Hmm. Um, the only thing that has reminded me that I work four jobs is I was talking to them today. You see this, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> you see the grace? Hmm. The only thing, <laughs> that's the only thing that, me, that that reminds me that I work four jobs. But yeah. um, I went to the and I go to all four of them um, yeah. with a smile on my face and with pleasure. You know? So um, music-wise, I have a lot of music coming. Um, a whole lot. Um, and, I, and I'm really excited. I've been working a lot with Zav. It's the first time that we've been working so much together, which I feel is long overdue, but it's at the right time. Mm. Um, it's at the perfect time. And I told you before, every, mm. timing is everything. You know, yeah, timing yeah. is everything. And, um, I have so much coming, so much. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, I'm teaching, I'm doing a lot of teaching. We're also working in prison. Like I tell you, I've been working in a prison in Holland, but now we bring that concept down here to Tim Martin. And uh, me and Zav, um, we in prison now working with these youngsters together with Kimbe also. So um, it's just about finding the right people to execute mm. the job. For sure. Yeah. So I'm really, really busy on writing my story, my part in history, and mm. including a whole lot of other historians in that story also. Mm. So I don't want to act like all what you have done wasn't with the right mindset. So I, I want to talk about that a little bit. Okay. What type of mindset could you, you could you could be whoever you want to be, but you are the person who you are. So 
So now, <laughs> so, now, I like that one. I like that. So, now, I like that. so now you so based on your mindset, like what what caused you to 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 choose that that role? Because I was in Holland. Yeah. Um, I was in Holland, and I looked myself in the mirror, and I had asked myself a couple questions, and I had no answer for them. Hmm. I asked myself, "Say, yo, you're in a you're in a country with 16 million people. You have hmm. accomplished all of this. You you you're living good." What have you done for your country? Hmm. What have you done for your family? What have you done for your mother? And I have no answer for that, brother. I say, I ask myself, what do you have to show for all that you have accomplished? Hmm. And all I could say was, okay, yeah, 28 million views. And that wasn't enough, brother. Hmm. That wasn't enough. Just the views was not enough. Hmm. You know? I had to step back. And hence the reason why I came back to Sima and also to take care of my mother and a couple of personal goals for myself, you know, mm. um, that people are going to see later down. And I don't feel like that's something that I should tell people. Those are personal goals. Um, has nothing to really do with the music, but everything to do with personal development. But um, that's the reason why I came back. And when I came back, I said, okay, I'm going to be an asset to my country. Mm. You know, I'm going to be, I want to be able to help the society in my country. Mm. And it went from just being, it went from just being wanting to make it in the music to wanting to do something for my country. Mm. And that's what changed it. I actually, at that moment, I felt I became an adult. Mm. I became a man. Mm. And that's what changed it. Yeah, and that's, and that's what kind of changed. Mm. That's, that's what changed it all. You became an adult and, and you started to have priorities and you started to, you know, realize that there's bigger things to this and you can take it to a whole nother level. So like you say, you can be whoever you, you want to be, mm. you know? And, and I realized like, yo, I can, I can really be who I want to be. And yeah, I want yeah. to be the biggest thing that they've ever seen. Yeah, so, so investing. So, so let me get more specific. Investing based off of the music. What, what is things that you need to have that you, you feel for you that as an artist, you, you should invest in yourself. If it's knowledge or equipment, but, you know, just give us a little more specific, you know, the details. As an artist, the first thing you should invest in is knowledge. Hmm. That's the first thing. And, 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 and it, it don't take much for you to invest in knowledge. All you need is like a, 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 a computer or a telephone to go on YouTube and you can learn everything on YouTube. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um, yeah, so knowledge. Knowledge is first. Even if that means you need to go away and do a schooling or go online and do some courses or follow some, some, some um, panels or whatever it is you feel you need to do to reach to that level, that's the first thing you need to do. Secondly, uh, depends on what you are. If you're a producer, you, you require different, but you need equipment. And as an artist, if you're an artist, you need to learn to record yourself. Hmm. That's not one for me. Any artist who ever wants to work with me or wants to sign under me or whatever, you need to learn to record yourself. If you can't record yourself, you need to sit on the sideline and learn. Hmm. You understand? Um, Drumline is one of my favorite movies. Um, remember Nick Cannon came in there, he fooled him after he could have drum and thinking when they find out that he couldn't read notes, he had to go sit on the sideline until he regained his spot. Mm. Read. Yeah, he got a drum, but he couldn't read the notes. You know what I mean? My bad. He got a drum, but he couldn't read the notes. And then when they find out that he couldn't read the notes, he had to sit on the sideline and regain his, 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 his mm. position. Mm. How good he was. Mm. You know what I mean? So you could be a good rapper, you could be a whatever. But if you can't record yourself, if you don't know your sound, if you, if you don't have no knowledge, you can just become just like the others. And when you, you say after. record yourself, who, who, who you got to record yourself? You mean like on a phone? You mean like you got to download a website? Like, what you got to do? You need to know how to um, get yourself a, a laptop or a computer. After getting a laptop and computer, learning what programs you need. So the knowledge, that comes with the knowledge. The knowledge will teach you what all you need. The knowledge will teach you that you need a computer, you need <laughs> a laptop, or a, a microphone, a sound card, and a quiet place. Quiet that, that's place. what the knowledge going to do. Yeah, a quiet place. Uh, your bathroom, your bedroom, in your closet. Well, I remember quiet, I had, okay, I got you, I got you. A quiet place. Remember I had buy a closet, a closet, leave a man build a closet for me. But I break that thing up, you know, brother, and I put my mic and I kind of thing in there, but I remember it cost me, but you know what I mean? It, it, it pays. Um, so the knowledge is going to tell you what all you need to acquire in order to do so, and then you need to go and invest, invest in the equipment. You go and you invest in a mic, a, a computer, and you know, mic stand, whatever it is you need to invest. In. And you need to know what program you need and you need to be able to go in that program mm. and press, record to talk and microphone and press stop 
and be able to understand your voice. Yeah. Nobody should find your tone for you. It is possible, but it shouldn't be like that. You should already know your sound. Okay, I know you gotta go. So advice, what was the best advice you that you ever received? My best advice, my best advice would be, choose a profession you love and you never work one day in your life. Yes, sir. That's mm. the best advice. You gotta work hard. Yeah. You, have, yeah. Yeah. you gotta yeah. work hard for, for anything that you love because nothing in life is for free. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Nobody's gonna hand you any. You gotta work hard for it. And it doesn't matter how young or how old you are. Nothing in life is for free. Hmm. Oh, you hear it first, Dr. Room. My brother. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Guys, I hope you guys locked in. This is Dr. Rum from St. Martin. I hope you guys are watching him, follow, subscribe, and where these guys will follow you? Um, you can follow me on all social media. Um, check out my YouTube page, RUM221. You can check me out on Take One, Twitter, RUM221, Instagram, RUM221. Uh, my Facebook is Dr. Rum. My personal Facebook page, is um rum m t h i e l m n um you can check me out on spotify the real dr rum um follow me check me out and um consider this a part one we could have a part two where we can go a little more on um, the investments that i've made um on myself um to sure. music you know what i mean we will we can most definitely chop it up but, um we have a little another um small session like this again probably yeah. probably i gonna be down there probably you up here i ain't know but we probably the next one will be together my brother thanks a lot my brother looking forward to it for sure for sure guys peace out see you on the next one